Post-processing effects are like Instagram filters that give maps a certain mood. For Dust, the developers gave it a contrasted, arid feel. Aztec opted for the Drowned Rat, Vertigo the Just Woken Up and Everything's Too Bright look, and so on. Every map has it, but the effect is so toned down with most maps that it doesn't make much of a difference to actual gameplay, but does leach the colours out of the textures a bit. So what's the problem? Well, I found that on average, having it on drops frame rates by about 20%. That's a big deal for a useless effect that a lot of people don't like. In fact, disabling it improved frame rates just as much as lowering shadow detail from very high to low. I ran these benchmarks at 4K resolutions where it's GPU limited. When I went the other extreme, some funky stuff happened. When the game is CPU limited, post-processing doesn't impact the frame rate much. Apart from when I was stood outside on Nuke, where enabling the effect actually boosted the frame rate by over 100 FPS. I don't understand. For the most part, and at normal resolutions, having the effect on will slow your PC down, and rather consistently at that. Valve should either remove the effect completely, or do what games like Unreal Tournament 3 have done, offering a number of settings as well as the option to disable it completely. This would benefit everyone.